we're going guys. So I have a great song to teach us now with um, Fisherman Blues by the Water Boys. And uh, uh, this is a brilliant song. This is a great song to play if you're ever out in a pub or anything like that. Or even at a party in a house or anything. You play this song and most people will know it. And it's actually pretty easy. It's a great song for learning. So if you're only beginning I'd highly recommend learning this song. And the strumming pattern and all for it's good. So it's a grand one to play. And um, this will definitely improve your chord changing skill. And your rhythm and everything you know because it stays the same rhythm the whole way through the song and um, I hope you enjoy this so please like and subscribe I'm going to go straight into the lesson lads so you're going to need four I think it is open chords for this song nothing too hard not too bad like so I'll go through them now you're going to need a G so you can either use a normal G major for this so it's third fret low E string second fret A string third fret B string 3rd fret high E string and you strum them all you can either use that one or you can use a G7 so just basically put your uh, ring finger on the low E on the 3rd fret so there's the G, full G there's the G7 I think the G7 nearly sounds better in this song so say so that's the first chord G7 second chord you're going to need is an F chord now if you're only learning this chord is a little bit tricky but you will get it just keep training it's all about re repetition that's what it's all about so the more you play the longer more hours you put in you'll get all these chords eventually like so put your ring finger on the third fret of the A string put your pinky on the third fret of the D string put your middle finger on the second fret of the G string and bar down the B and the high E string with your index fingers. With your index finger. And you're going to strum this from the A string. So G7 and F. So there are your first two chords. Right, now the third chord you're going to need. So just give us a second there. Third chord you're going to need is A minor. So you're going to have your index finger on the first fret of the B. You're going to have your middle finger on the second fret of the D. You're going to have your ring, your ring finger on the second fret of the G. And you're going to strum this down from the A string. A minor. So G7. F. A minor. And the last chord is it? Yeah, the last chord you're going to need for this song is going to be a C chord. So you're going to have your ring finger on the third fret of the A. You're going to have your middle finger on the second fret of the D. You're going to have your index finger on the first fret of the B string. You're going to strum this from the A chord, from the A string. So G7. F A minor and C and that's the order they're going to come in as well lads so I'm fucking doing you a favour with that one <laughs> so um, yeah that's the order and the strumming pattern I'm going to get you to use for this if, you're, if you want Look, learn the song whatever way I teach it, say, and then when you get the hang of a song, put your own twist to it. That's why I always do, try and find my own way of playing every song. That's how you get better. There's no point trying to be like anyone else, you know, so try to get your own style. Find your own style and then you're sorted. Like. So the strumming pattern to use for this, what I'd recommend to use to learn this is... So basically you're hitting your bass notes, picking it, pick. So say on the G chord you're going to be picking low E and A, say, like that. Just hitting them a slap like that. And then down up. Then do it again, pick. So it's pick, down up, and pick, down up. Then pick again, down up, down up, down. So pick, down up, pick, down up, pick, down up, down up, down. 
And if you do that, alright, so you're picking the bass notes, pick, then down up on say the G, the G, or say the D, G, B, and high E uh, notes with the down up strums, right? So pick, down up, pick, down up, pick, down up, down up, down. And then on your up strum and that one, you'll be in the middle of a change. Right, so right, start the song. Now, if you get confused anywhere in this lesson or any of my lessons, just rewind back to where you do know and then watch it from there and start again. That's the best thing to do. Don't let yourself get flustered in any song. Like, right? just go back and look again where you look to where you knew what was going on, and then go from there. So right from the start of the song, you're gonna be going pick. So that's going to be your strumming pattern. That's not going to change. So that's going to be your strumming pattern for the whole song. You're going to have no, there's going to be no problems with strumming pattern. Once you get the hang of doing that, even if you keep just your first chord and keep doing that. Right, so when you start the song, you're going to be on the G chord. And you're going to do that strumming pattern. You're going to go pick. Down up, pick, down up, pick, down up, down up, down. Change to the F chord. So G, F, very same strumming pattern, only your bass note's going to be the A string instead of the D string. So you're going to go. So right from the start, G, pick, down up, pick, down up. Same. So very same strumming pattern. Then go to the A minor chord. Pick, down up, pick, down up, pick, down up, down up, down up. And to the C chord. So all you're doing to change from the A minor chord to the C chord, you're going to leave your index finger and your middle finger where they are. You're going to move your ring finger up to the second, third fret of the A string. And you're going to do the very same picking pattern. And back to G. Fuck, I made a bollocks of it there. <laughs> um, so back to the G. So right from the start of the song, that's the way it's going to keep playing out. It's going to keep playing out like that. It's not going to change. So that's it. That's the way the song, that's the way you can play that song like that the whole way through. And if you have someone with you with another acoustic, you can get them to do little riffs with it and all. Like the way they play the, the fiddle in the song, I think it is. There's a riff on it, but you could do that with a guitar as well. You could make up the riff for it. Like. So right from the start, G7. minor and C and back again that's the way she's going to keep cycling the whole way through the song and it's a really good song mate it's just simple now, there is some little tricks that you can do with it like when you're in the F chord you can go up, pick, down up, pick, down up, pick, down up, down up. And then the last down up slide up to here. So you're on the F shape, but you're on the fifth fret to the third fret with it. So you can go. And back to the A minor. But only do that if you're comfortable doing it, if you're able to do it. If you're not, just leave it and play it properly. It's still going to sound the same. So it's still gonna sound right like the song, so I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm gonna put up a video of my right hand so you can see the strumming properly. I'll do it properly, uh, nice and slow. Cause even in the example video there, I was fucking messing. I was kind of just playing around with the song myself. So try learn it with this pick and pattern. I think it would be better. And um, 
thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos and see you again soon right guys so doing this so you can see the picking the picking pattern properly and um you should know the cards by now so just try and watch the picking the way i'm picking it so i'm gonna start now Sorry I messed up there. So one more cycle, G. F. A minor. C. That's the way she'll keep going, she's going to keep cycling like that. So thank you.